Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 36 in chapter 6. In this one, things get a little bit difficult. We can see this is a very typical model, right? The object on the slope. And then we need to find this acceleration, uh, the object to the slope. By then, the whole model is uh, placed in the ele elevator. And then this elevator with different accelerations. So how can you solve the problems? First one, we do the same thing. And this one, we can see we analyzes the force on this object. First one, there must be the relative gravity. There must be gravity act on this object, right? It is a mg. This g because it is not fixed. It is decided by this reference system, the elevator. So we give it a name, G effective. So G effective, this one, do you agree? Yes. And then there must be the normal force, the slope to support this object. And also the problem tells you this is without friction, so only two forces. And we need to find the relative acceleration pointing along the slope. So how can we do that? First thing, we project the gravity, the effective gravity into uh, component. This one and this along the slope and the vertical to the slope. So we have mg effective sine theta, mg effective cosine theta. Now we do force analysis. We consider Newton's second law. We look at the vertical direction. The force is balanced. So we have the normal force minus this mg effective cosine theta equals zero. Then look, look at the, this direction along the slopes. So the net, net force is mg effective sine theta equals the mass times acceleration relative. So from these two equations, we can find the acceleration relative. It really depends on the g effective times the constant sine theta. And this one sine theta is constant, so we look at the g effective. How can we decide that? What is that mean? What is the system? This reference system just changes with the acceleration. So we take the up as a positive direction, and then we consider the whole thing. Whole thing is just as a one small particle. Okay, and then we put it there. So for this one, first thing. The force act on it, it must be the gravity. Do you agree? The gravity. And then in the elevator, there must be the normal force. And this normal force is just we call it what is the effective gravity. Or sometimes we call it weight. Agree? Weight. And then because this is positive direction, so in this one we know that this system is accelerated with the elevator. So the acceleration is also up. A. And then we can see the Newton's second law again. This is weight, or we call it effective gravity. This one minus the gravity should equal to mass times acceleration. Agree? Yes, this one. And then we find the equation. The effective gravity equals to g plus acceleration a. Now we can see in first situations, it tells us the acceleration is up. 0.5 g, so the acceleration is up, positive 0.5 g, and then we input this uh, uh, acceleration inside, we get the final answer, 1.5 g, sine theta. Easy. The second one tells us the acceleration moves down, and uh, 0.5 g, so it becomes negative 0.5 g, and input it inside, we get the final answer, 0.5 g, sine theta. The next one tells us this elevator falls free, freely. What I mean, this is a free fall body. Free fall body acceleration is a negative g, right? Negative g pointing down. So when we put it inside, we find this acceleration, relative acceleration zero. The next one tell tell you this uh, uh, elevator moves upward at a constant speed. So constant speed tell us the acceleration is zero. The acceleration is zero, we get the final answer, relative acceleration is g sine theta. So for this problem, at first you think, wow, how can I do that? But then, you, we, this is just as a combination for two models. First one, very familiar and very typical model about the object on the slope. We need to find the 
acceleration along the slope. And then we find this acceleration depends on effective gravity g, right? Because this whole system is in the elevator. So this one is elevator. And then this effective gravity is just the weight, normal force. And then after we input the numbers inside, we can get the final answer. Thank you.